Hey everyone, welcome to my current favorites obsessions. I'm so excited to be making this video right now. I feel like I haven't made a favorites video in literally years, like forever. I feel like that used to be such a thing on YouTube and then just recently I feel like I've been loving so many things or using a lot of certain like everyday products, stuff like that, so I just really wanted to make a video chat with you guys about all of them and give you the real tea that you want the value like the things that you want to see so I thought this would be fun to do today if you guys are new make sure you subscribe you can follow me on Instagram Gretchen Garrity the whole thing here we go we're on my back porch right now it's a little windy I apologize in advance if you can hear the wind but yeah basically I just have everything written down on my phone to keep me organized here I have a bunch of different categories because I tried to organize it for you guys I'm always trying to work on my organization so the first category we have is like clothing but not clothing it's like clothing and accessories very loosely I'm going to be using that term so the first thing I'm going to be sharing with you guys are my new blue light glasses These are the Felix gray blue light blocking glasses and if you guys have been with me for a while or have seen me talk on YouTube and Instagram before. I feel like I've talked about these everywhere. I have been using blue light blocking glasses. <laughs> Whoa! That's why we just call them like blue light glasses, but really what they're doing is blocking out the blue light. I've been using Felix Grays for so long now because they make such a difference, you guys, for me. Since I work mainly in YouTube, social media, Instagram, that type of thing, I feel like I'm just on my phone, on my devices all day long. Like basically, blue light is coming from your favorite devices. So your iPad, your iPhone, your MacBook, your like literally all of those things. You see what I'm saying? The tablet. So basically it can, for me especially, just cause so much eye strain because I feel like I'm staring at my phone screen or my computer all day long. So what these do is just block out the blue light and I know actually it sort of is like, I feel like so many places have blue light blocking glasses now, but um, what Felix Grey does, which is so nice, is they block out the range that matters. So I know they have their own propri proprietary lens technology that filters out 15 times more than their competitors. They are just such amazing quality, and I feel like you can just feel the difference when you have these on any of their different styles. These are the Volta frames. I really like the Volta because I have such a large head, and so they just fit my face really well. I also love the Jemisons, you guys. Those are my like OG original. I think those were like my first pair, so those are just my favorite styles. I love now. I literally could name you all of them. I'm like a big fan girl over here, but yeah, basically they're amazing. I just get such bad eye strain during the day from being on my, oh my gosh, especially editing videos for like hours. Like by the end, I'm like shriveled up, like can't see. My eyes just hurt so bad. And I especially notice eye like dryness. They feel really dry and just sort of irritated. I'll get headaches, stuff like that. Also, you guys, my mom, I recently gave her a pair of Felix Grey Blip blocking glasses and she works on her computer all day long she's working from home right now and she's like Gretchen I noticed such a difference because she'd get such bad like stress headaches by the end of the day just from like staring at her computer screen all day so these are so amazing you guys I will have Felix Grey a link down below so you can check out all their different lenses they are so amazing like I couldn't recommend enough if you haven't tried out blue light blocking glasses before they will like change the game so check them out down below okay next up these are mainly clothing items everything princess Polly I've been so obsessed with I know this isn't a shock to you guys I just post in their clothes all the time I'm so obsessed I literally just grabbed three different floral things to show you I think the reason I've been so obsessed with them is because especially it's summer it's warm you know and princess Polly is the best listen closely for rompers and dresses I feel like I get that question a lot or just in general girls are always looking well I mean now we're like living through a pandemic but I feel like you gals are always looking for dresses and cute rompers to wear to like functions or even more casually whatever I feel like I always live in dresses and rompers because they're so comfortable and it's already it's just this floral romper everyone thinks it's a dress and it's like that's the cutest dress sorry I can really hear the wind picking up Maybe this is like ASMR, is that what it's called? Remember when that used to be a thing? Or maybe it still is. I don't know. I've like never watched that or been into that. But is that what it is when there's just like noises? I don't know. Anyway, everyone thinks it's a dress, but it's a romper. It's really flowy and so cute. And I'm just like into the floral situation. I have like so many rompers and dresses from them. So just that's just like all been wearing I feel like I'll get questions this top is actually really old from gray bandit my Louis Vuitton bum bag 
you guys. I wanted to make sure I included this because I made that video of things, Brody window, it's distracting me, but you guys know I made that video of purchases that I regret, or what was it, like 10 things? Oh, hi, buddy. And I was like, I honestly think this is one of my worst purchases because I feel like I never really used it when I first got it. But recently, I feel like I've been using it so much. Less this way and more just like this way because it's so little and just convenient. And you're probably like, Gretchen, where are you even using that? Like, we're living through a pandemic. Exactly. I take this like running errands because it's just like the perfect size to put my little card holder in and um, keys. Because when I walk in places, I'm like, do I just hold my little card holder and keys? Like, no, I need it back. So this has been good. I've been using it literally to go to the grocery store and like home goods and stuff. So yeah, I've actually been getting a lot of use out of this. I really like it. And it's no longer one of the items that I regret buying or my worst purchase, whatever. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I told you guys that. Okay, next up on the list, what did I write? Oh, literally, well, I was gonna say everything from Maritzia that is called ex-boyfriend, but all I can really speak to are these two items. I have like an Aritzia issue. I need to like block their website on my computer because I just like go ham every time I'm on there. But it was a couple months ago or maybe a lot of months ago. Their stuff is always so backordered. I remember these being so backordered. I honestly probably ordered these beginning of quarantine, like March. And I remember seeing estimated chip date like August. And I'm like, oh, that's so far away. And it felt like I blinked my eyes and like here is August. So actually it didn't even feel that long. <laughs> like I didn't mind. And it's always a surprise when things are backordered. They just like show up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot I ordered that. So it was kind of like a fun surprise. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is these are both called, these are like the ex-boyfriend sweatpants. This is the ex-boyfriend like sweatshirt, oversized, crew, whatever. This reminds me a lot of their normal oversized crew, but it's just even more slouchy and cozy. I know this is like the lilac color. Honestly, it kind of like messes with my eyes though because I wear these together and it just looks like a grout fit. Like they both just look gray. So this is like very similar to gray, but like a very light grayish purple so slouchy and oversized and cozy if you guys saw that one vlog when i was wearing that with these these are also just so slouchy and oversized but yeah so oversized so cozy so i actually just get the size that i always get like these are just a small because they are like already made really oversized so they're still really slouchy and oversized in case um you wanted to know in case that was helpful so these are just so comfy and just yeah just love them. A Goldie Parker short. These have the tags on them. You guys are gonna be like, literally you're so fake. Those are not your favorite. Yes, they are. Because I had to get a whole new pair. If you guys saw me on Instagram and saw the other day, I wore these so much they literally died and are ripped completely up the front. These are the Goldie Parker shorts and these ones, this pair is like three years old. I got them forever ago at this little boutique in Vermont randomly that just sold a Goldie. There's a Goldie everywhere. Like people always ask me where I get a Goldie. Literally wherever I can find it in stock. I've seen it at Free People. I've seen it at like random little boutiques. I think they have it on Urban Outfitters. They have it at Nordstrom Sachs, Bloomingdale's like they literally have a Goldie everywhere but it's just like the best denim. Like it just fits me so well and I feel like denim is something that I um I just think they have really great denim. Self, a new pair. If you guys saw my Instagram stories trying to decide between if I still should get the 27 because they stretch out so much or go with the 26 but ultimately I just decided to stay with the 27 because I like them oversized like I like how that fits anyway but I would say these do run a little big and will stretch out so maybe just go a size down but I just go with my normal size because I like them oversized so just got a new pair of them see this is the little hole of the last one that slid up the front so I'm going to try to be really careful a lot of you guys were giving me such good advice to like um, do things so that these wouldn't like rip up the front again like so right here or put like a little sew on patch on the inside that you wouldn't be able to see so I need to like look into that because these are just the most like flattering shorts they're I really like that they're not too short they're like longer I feel like a little more mature in them like my butt's not hanging out they're like the best blue wash like distressed the best high waisted high waisted shorts and I love the fit so that's why I ordered the white ones these I've worn a bunch already and love them again same fit these actually don't have any like distressing or holes in them or anything but I knew that they would be perfect because they are the same type just a different color okay last thing in my clothing accessories category everyone the Nordstrom sale I can't show it to you but it's just something that I've been obsessed with recently and you know what's funny is today is August 11th 
and I haven't even bought anything yet because I haven't been able to. I believe that it opens to the whole world on like August 18th or 19th, I forget. I was just recording, recording, filming a vlog where I was showing my wish list and just shopping the Nordstrom sale and I don't know if that's gonna go before or after this. But anyway, regardless, I don't have access until August 13th, so two days from now because I literally just applied for an orange room credit card just so that I would be able to have access a little bit earlier because I was afraid of everything selling out. And it already is when I was filming, um, shopping the Nordstrom sale and just like my wish list literally yesterday, like half of it sold out already and I'm like, all right, that's not even going to be helpful for you guys. By the time it goes up, everything's going to be gone. But I just have been really obsessed with like looking at everything and I feel like it's things that never go on sale like Barefoot Dreams. Oh my gosh, Barefoot Dreams should be in here. I love everything Barefoot Dreams. I could make this video literally four hours long. Like there's so many staples that I love but I just tried to pick things that are really recently that I've been obsessed with. So yes, next category, home. Okay, this is where the word obsessed comes in. It's been a little bit of an issue. It's affecting my relationship a little bit. Max is literally like, can you stop looking at furniture and home decor and interior design stuff like 14 hours a day? It's so bad. I don't know how this happened. I've never been like this, but I think that's the issue. I've never been like this. So I just haven't really ever looked into or known anything about like interior design or like the feng shui or like looking at nice furniture or things that are like nice quality but less expensive like dupes of like restoration hardware oh my god i'm literally so obsessed with restoration hardware i want to go like have a sleepover at restoration hardware because of all these like interior design home videos i've been watching like oh, it's just so expensive and like yeah like goals you know like not right now like i'm trying to like fall on a budget but uh, it's just like so beautiful and grand in there like I just like am so obsessed so This leads me to I found this guy's videos on YouTube They were just popping up on my recommended and I think a lot of them were like home goods hauls or like shopping at home goods and stuff and like um, I feel like restoration hardware dupe type things and his name's Arvin Olano and I'm so obsessed with him Max is like we just talk about Arvin like he's our friend now he'll be like oh Arvin would like that or Arvin says this or that and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> you've like listened to me watch his videos so many times that he like knows Arvin and now at night he's like I found a fun video for us to watch and he like pulls up Arvin's most recent video and I'm like ah! <laughs> you know me so well so anyway Arvin I literally love you this is like I'm embarrassed because I just love him and his videos and he just has such good taste with like interior design and the whole thing and I've learned so much from him. And yeah, when you guys see my apartment looking just like his house, I think, you'll know why. <laughs> I try not to copy, just be more like inspired. But he is like, his home is like everything that I want in an apartment. Just like tasteful and like cozy oasis and like neutral and like, I just love it. Like he's very also restoration hardware on a budget so that's like the vibe that I'm going for and yeah it's like really been an obsession you guys should check him out like maybe tell him I sent you I know he like started recently but I yeah I just like can't I've literally watched like all of his videos I can't stop watching I don't think he even knows who I am or that I'm so obsessed with him but okay I probably just talked about him for like 10 minutes you guys probably think I'm dating him now um <coughs> well because of him the next two things in my home list is I've been obsessed with home goods because of him and he's been like teaching me how to shop at home goods I also was just filming a vlog where I went with Lucy to home goods and was just trying to find all these things that he taught me to look for like gemstones and like crystals that they have at restoration hardware um, but they're like a million dollars so then you can find ones like them at home goods and just how to find like quality pieces so I've really been liking home goods looking around for little hidden gems you know so that's been really fun. And then last on my list, yeah, coffee table books. So, oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys, it's so heavy. It's shaking my little dinky table right there so much. I like can't even lift this up. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This thing is like, like so heavy. But anyway, I've been loving coffee table books. I haven't even moved into my apartment yet, but I've really been, you know, proactive and just trying to like plan ahead because I don't want to get there and be like, oh, it's empty. We like need furniture and stuff. You know, like I wanted to be prepared and I'm so happy I've been on it since like July because everything is back ordered and I need to order way in advance. So I've been obsessed with coffee table books. 
um, and just like the idea of them and how they look in apartment like how I know they'll look because it hasn't really come to fruition yet like we're not there yet but like I know that this is just gonna look so beautiful I actually found this Tom Ford coffee table book here this is the cover this is the actual one Woo! on sale at Target and then when I tried to link it the other day in a video was I linking it or something I think it's out of stock now but they have it on Amazon like so many places it's just so like obviously neutral and grand and like black and white and yeah I just really <laughs> I think an acorn and a stick just hit my back did you hear that yeah I'm literally in the forest back here go oh my god finally this thing is literally so heavy and you guys this is me giving you tips from Arvin, from tips that he taught me in his videos. What you really need to do is go to Home Goods to find coffee table books because they will have like designer coffee table books in there, but at a fraction of the cost. So I just found a Dior one in there the other day. It's like this pretty light gray one. And instead of, oh, I forget how much it was, instead of like a crazy expensive price, it was just like a less expensive price. So that was like a gem that I found in there. Okay, <laughs> moving on from the home section because I can talk about that stuff all day long and I'm such a newbie at it, like I don't even know what I'm doing. I am not good at decorating or interior design. I just think it's so interesting. Like I'm just into it, you know? Okay, next category, beauty. So, this is also like loose. This is like beauty skincare. You guys, Bay Blash. I feel like I haven't talked about them enough but at the same time I have. Babe Lash has like transformed my life and my eyelashes and I feel like it's in person right now. I don't know if you guys can see. You know, I feel like I actually look kind of like sparse today, like thinning. And let me tell you, this is way better than they've ever been like in my whole life crazy results. But then I uh, serum one night, conditioner the other night, serum the next night, conditioner the other night. Um, just because that's like what it recommended like to do these two together, but I know that can be expensive. So if you guys just want one, I'm sure the serum is probably like good enough. But they literally transformed my eyelashes and made them grow so much because I had extensions on my eyelashes for so long, for like over two years, and it ruined my eyelashes. I had none left, they were little stubs, and even before extensions, I had like no eyelashes and that's why I got extensions because my eyelashes were just so short and I would curl them and it wouldn't hold the curl and it was just like so terrible. And then I started using these and my eyelashes just like sprouted and started getting so long and growing and they were I feel like a lot fuller and thicker. And then during quarantine I feel like I got lazy for like two or three months and didn't really use them and I started noticing a difference. I was like, oh my gosh, why does my mascara not look as good? What is going on? And it's because I wasn't, I was just being lazy and not using them as much. So now in the past like month or two, I've been using them again and I am definitely seeing results again. So you guys, if you haven't tried out Bay Blash, you literally need to, like you have to. It's so good. And these are like on their last leg. Like I am about to order new ones because I feel like I'm running out, but so incredible. And just refer back to this video when you're like, oh my gosh, what was that? Eyelash serum Gretchen uses, Babe Lash. But I always try to answer, like I feel like I see that question on all my Instagrams and all my YouTube videos and I always reply back, Babe Lash, you need to try Babe Lash, so. Yes, next up, Candy Laneige, okay? I'm gonna try to speed this up, I'm getting really chatty. I wanna put some on right now, let's do it together. Okay, so Laneige, sleeping mask, I just had to smell it for the sake of this video. This one smells so good. I really hope it wasn't like limited edition or anything. I don't think so. I think it's just a new flavor because it definitely wasn't out when I um, first got Laneige. It was just like the pink berry one and then they got the vanilla and the vanilla is so good too. And then when was it? It was during some like Sephora sale. I think during quarantine. And everyone was recommending that I get the sweet candy flavor. Oh my gosh, you guys so good literally amazing it tastes so good it tastes like candy I use it like every night now and every day and I go like this <laughs> so I can smell it because it smells so good just try it enough me talking about it but just that's just all I have to say it's really good okay next up sorry I'm like reading off my phone is that like weird I just wanted to be structured and organized for you guys because people get mad at me when I'm all over the place which is just my brain and personality Okay, 
my little night face cream and my face wash this was hard not to whip out my whole like skincare system but these are definitely my favorites so the skin ceuticals gentle cream cleanser amazing stunning beautiful like i will never go to anything else like i'm just gonna keep repurchasing this forever i feel like can you like see <laughs> i'm trying to focus on my hands um this is actually really affordable from them too so out of all of their stuff i would recommend this because it's such a good everyday gentle cleanser like i use this two times a day and it's just the best i feel like it's not stripping my skin or making me break out it's just so gentle so good for your skin skin ceuticals is just such a good brand like i feel like made by dermatologists and stuff so i mean i shouldn't say that i'm not 100 percent sure like i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure dermatologist Maybe it's like formulated by that. Anyway, I just think <laughs> Kinsuticals is a good friend. I've been using them for a while now. So this is the Triple Lipid Restore 242. I use it at night. It's like a night face cream. It's really thick and hydrating. And to be completely honest, if you guys saw a video before when I showed like my skincare routine now, I'm still sticking with that. However, it's been for like a couple months now. And you know Madeline Klein from Outer Banks? the actress I watched her video on I think it was like a Vogue video her nighttime routine and she was just talking about the skin ceuticals um, like night cream and how it's just the best ever and how much she loves it and she's like I literally save up all my money for this and now I do too like look at how much is left that makes me so sad because I'm definitely going to repurchase it it smells so good and it's just so like really moisturizing and creamy but not like too thick Oh, it's just the best like I love putting this on my face at night and then I'm just ready for bed and I feel like it just makes my skin glow and so amazing so this one's way too expensive but just definitely something that I save up my money on and I feel like at night I just do like I'm so careful with it like I just put a little bit on each area of my face and I'm like okay like I try to like savor every moment of it I'm gonna be like scraping out every last drop in there okay next up I don't have it with me in person because it's on the caper now. I literally am going to insert like footage of it right here. My Bio Clarity Body Wash, you guys. Amazing, incredible, so good. I feel like this, no one talks about this or maybe they do and I, I have been living under a rock, but this has been like under hyped to me. I need to hype it up for you guys. It's so good how in your childhood, you know how you have like nostalgic smells that is literally this body wash i can't put my finger on exactly what i don't know if it's like airheads or like lollipops it just smells so good and i love all the little beads in it it's just really cleansing you feel so clean and i've just been obsessed with this body wash i literally left it on the cape because i brought it there because i was using it so much so it's the best body wash ever i'm definitely going to keep repurchasing that and then, oh, I've really been liking painting my nails. I haven't got my nails done in six months since before quarantine. And now I know places are open, but I'm just like, I don't need to go. So like, why would I go? Like my mom asked me today, she was like, have you gotten a pedicure since like everything going on? And I was like, no. And like, honestly probably should, but I just haven't or a manicure either. So I've been getting into painting my nails. This is Essie Ballet Slippers. This is what is on my nails like 99.9% .9 of the time, especially when I get questions, people are like, what's that light pink you use? Ballet slippers. Ballet slippers greater than Fiji, in my opinion. I didn't even bring Fiji down here, but Fiji is also like a light, opaque pink, but um, I feel like it's just a little brighter and a little more pink, and I have been liking the really natural, just really, this is like a very um, tanny skin color pink. Like, it's just very natural, so I've been really been into ballet slippers. I would recommend ballet slippers. That's like all I put on my nails and toes now and now I have no nail polish on because I've been lazy to paint them but like tonight if I get around to it I'll do the ballet slippers <laughs> next up two face sunscreens if I'm going out in the sun and I don't have makeup on like this is all I put on my face and that's it after like a moisturizer yeah I do that and then so <laughs> I'm like thinking and then the super goop unseen sunscreen this I will use under my makeup as a primer if I'm wearing makeup so it just kind of goes by if I'm wearing makeup or not no makeup I use this one makeup I use this one because I literally just put this under my makeup and this is SPF 40 it feels like you know like professional by benefit I love that primer I also use that as well I feel like some days I almost mix professional with this as like a primer for my makeup um, but this what I'm trying to say is this feels like the consistency, the texture of Professional, so it just feels like a primer. It's really nice. I know they Super Goop has a bunch of different sunscreens. I want to try other ones. I know my friends like the Glow Screen because it kind of has like a tint to it, and you could just use that instead of like a foundation or anything. So yeah, I've really been loving 
these sunscreens, which reminds me, when I wear makeup, <clears throat> and I use this and it has the 40 SPF, what I'm putting on top actually also has 40 SPF, so this is my last favorite and obsession in my beauty, makeup, whatever, skincare category. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is actually the matte version, and I also have, I think I brought it down here, yes. I also have the normal version. This is embarrassing. Look at how old and like worn away this packaging is, but this is just the tan color it is pretty dark for my skin I do in the summer is if i really get some sun this will like match my skin but this is the light medium and i can sort of mix them together in the summer to match my skin and then the light medium is usually what i'll be all year round sometimes it's too dark for me in the winter and i'll like self tan but yeah these are just my favorite you guys if i'm ever wearing any liquid makeup like this is the only one that i wear anymore like today what I'm wearing I just mix these two together so with these all together I have lots of SPF going on and I'm very protected I'm all about the SPF and taking care of my skin because I know how important it is okay the last two categories you guys are food and then miscellaneous so let's do food that's fun right the coconut cold brew concentrate from Trader Joe's so this is coconut cold brew coffee but it's a concentrate and Max didn't realize this and the first time he did it he's like it tastes kind of like I don't know and you just pour like the whole thing over ice and I'm like Max it's a concentrate so it even says on here you're supposed to do one part this to two parts water oh two parts water or milk interesting I didn't know that it said milk too because normally I would just do like a third cup this and then two thirds water and then I'd ask I had like a splash of oat milk, almond milk, whatever, and it's so good. I really like that it's cold brew because I really like cold brew, and I really like that it's coconut flavored because the coconut just tastes so good. So, if you guys are at Trader Joe's, you should definitely try this. Make sure that you don't just drink this with over ice because then it probably just tastes like really strong. I don't know, and it'll just be like a lot of coffee for your system to handle. But I've really been liking this, and I want to cut down on us going to Starbucks like every single day because it's just expensive and a lot and wasteful and time consuming and just better and cheaper overall this way so I've been liking buying like pre-made coffee like this what we should get is like Keurig or Nespresso is that what they're called oh my I can't believe I don't even know about those things you guys because I went through college not drinking coffee like a day in my life you guys know I only started drinking coffee in like the last year dating max so I'm not even like a regular coffee drinker I just drink it like on days I feel like I need it and I've really been liking the Trader Joe's one next up on my food list Sweet potato gnocchi from Trader Joe's is so good. I wanted to grab a bag to show you guys, but we actually just ate our last bag today for lunch, and it was in the trash, so I wasn't gonna dig it out. But if you go to Trader Joe's, it's just the sweet potato gnocchi in this orange bag. I'm sure it's like the only sweet potato gnocchi. I know there's like sage in there. It's just in this really yummy sauce. It takes like literally three minutes or five minutes, I don't know, on the stove. You just like put it in a pan, put a top on with some water. So is it like steaming them? I don't know. It just turns out so good. Follow the directions on the package. They're so yummy. We've been eating them like probably three times a week. And then Max today to me was like, so do these have like any nutritional value? And I'm like, you know what? Probably not. Like it's just like potato pasta little circles. So probably not, but they taste really good. So like you need carbs to live, right? Don't forget that people. Next up everything bagels these have always been my favorite bagels ever but we have been eating every everything bagels like every day for breakfast like it's been our job just ran out this morning so couldn't show you but everything bagels you guys are an everything bagel fan comment down below comment down below I'm actually really curious to see you guys comment down below your favorite type of bagel I feel like some people are so cinnamon raisin people or like Lucy is such a poppy seed bagel she loves poppy I love everything. I would like go to bat for everything bagels. Oh, and the cinnamon sugar ones. That, that's like my dessert bagel after my everything bagel <laughs> when I'm eating two for breakfast. Okay, last thing in my food section is ice cream. All types, everywhere, anywhere, anytime. Ice cream. I mean, that's like not crazy and monumental. That's like me being like, guys, do you like ice cream and like watermelon in the summer? It's so crazy. I've been loving ice cream and watermelon like dog in summer but I really have just been loving ice cream like I honestly could do a big bowl right now of like chocolate ice cream when you know when there's like peanut butter swirls in there and like greasy cups <laughs> can I not be like this I feel like a little kid that like you know the night before and you're going to bed and you're just like dreaming of like 
the French toast that you'll have for breakfast or like pancakes or like peanut butter chocolate ice cream. I don't know, is that just me? That's what I feel like right now. I've really been into it. Watermelon too, that wasn't on my list. I know it's not monumental, it's summer. We all like cold, crisp, juicy watermelon in summer. Okay, last category, miscellaneous. I just thought this would be fun to throw in here. So, I have been obsessed with stargazing. I know, also not monumental. I feel like why it's monumental to me is because when I lived in Boston for so long, you can't really, like, it's just all sort of, what's that word? It's all kind of, like, drowned out by, like, the, I don't know, lights, pollution, light pollution. Just everything in the city, you can't see the stars as well. So whenever you go out to like the suburbs we can see them pretty well but whenever we're at my lake house and it's like really rural like middle of nowhere you can see literally every star in the sky and it's so magical and amazing but here you can still see them pretty well so i really like just looking at the stars at night it just makes me feel good inside if i'm being honest and to get like really deep i talk to my dad if especially if i'm alone outside looking at the stars at night because i just feel like he's up there in the sky and i get to like talk to him i don't know if that's like really deep but i don't know it just makes me feel good especially if i'm like walking teddy at night or you know like taking him out to the bathroom before i go to bed i'll just like look up at the stars and talk to my dad and it's like really special if i'm being honest so there's that i've really been liking nhl playoffs <laughs> so this is so random miscellaneous, but I was brainstorming with Max for this video I was like come on you know me best you're with me like 24 hours a day What have I been obsessed with and he's like, okay You've really been enjoying watching the playoffs right now and I have because I think I've just missed sports I'm so not like that. I feel like I sound like the guys girl right now or like the girl that's really into sports I'm actually like not really like that. I don't really know about sports other than hockey obviously since I'm dating a hockey player so I feel like I know more about hockey now and it's just interesting to me and I can actually enjoy watching it because I understand what's going on. So I really, I really like that they have playoffs going on and that they finally, you know, finished this past season and that they can do it safely and everything. So it's just been fun to watch hockey again. Like I missed watching sports and watching hockey games. Next up, documentaries. The two that we've watched recently that come to mind are actually really sad. We watched the Michael Phelps one the other day and I cried because it's a lot about, it's only an hour, so I would recommend you give it a watch and it can like open your eyes into this glamorous world of the Olympics that is so, it sort of reminds me of like social media in a way. It's so like glamorized and then, um, I mean no, it's different because it, the athletes in the Olympics have it way harder. But do you know what I'm saying? Like it's just something that can be so glamorized and like highlight reel sort of situation but then there's like so much that goes on behind the scenes and it just talks about how pretty much every Olympic athlete struggles with their mental health and um, the way the Olympics is sort of like set up in all of their resources being an Olympic athlete they just don't have enough resources for like um, therapists and just like yeah resources for their mental health so it was just really sort of like eye-opening to watch all of that and really sad so if you're gonna like get really sad about that sort of thing maybe you don't watch it but I mean, it was interesting, just like I cried, so, so there's that. I also, I think I cried in Athlete A. That's the one, the documentary all about USA Gymnastics, and I don't even wanna say his name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. And it's just, I remember the whole time being like, oh my gosh, like you just feel sick to your stomach, like that sort of feeling. There, I feel like there's been so many documentaries um, during quarantine that like everyone's been into watching, so that was another one that we watched, but it just made me like sick to my stomach and like, you know that feeling when you're watching something and you want to like punch a wall open because you just want to like help the people in there like that was me i want to be like oh i just want to like go back in time and like help them or have like anyone like help them sort of thing i don't know but i have been into documentaries and just like learning because i miss learning i think is a thing too that's another thing i really have been liking doing you guys know max's sister chase is a bar instructor i've really been liking doing her bar classes because it honestly reminds me of like well it is like taking a workout class in person but just at home so i think it gives me that sort of like community team feeling workout did you just see that acorn fly in front of the camera um but at home and i really have just been liking doing at home workouts because that's kind of like the only option at least here in upstate new york i think what i just realized when i said that's the only option in upstate new york is at home workouts is i might be wrong i think they are actually a lot of like boutique fitness studios have classes like outside like in parking lots or fields or something but i just haven't done any of that yet because I don't know I just don't really think it's like necessary I'm fine with that and workouts for now until everything is like back to normal and really safe you know so I really have been enjoying doing at-home workouts too and just like 
I don't know. I've never spent so much time at home in my whole life. I'm sure that's the case with everyone, but it feels really like good. Like I feel very grounded and like at home. And you guys know in the past couple years of my life, I never felt like that and I felt like I was like floating because I was just traveling and like always moving. So I don't know, it's been really nice. I've been enjoying that home workout. I've really been enjoying walks with Brody, like teaching him how to walk pretty much because he just turned three months. He's actually three months and one week today. And so he's still learning how to walk. He's not like the best at going for walks yet. He's a baby, a baby puppy. And yeah, but it's still really fun. And especially when we go on walks with him and you guys know my mom's dog, Teddy, it will like motivate Brody. So it's just been really fun going on walks with him. And also training him has been really fun too. I mean, obviously frustrating and everything like that, but just so rewarding. Like now I wish he was out here right now so I could show you. He knows sit, paw, and lay down and also spin like the back of his hand. Like he's got those down 100% and it's just so rewarding. Like the day that he finally got paw, that was a hard one for him. It was just like so rewarding. So obviously these are very basic things that we're doing with him and I know that we will get help with trainers to do more like difficult things. But yeah, that's just been like really fun and a current favorite. <laughs> Okay, last couple things you guys. Sorry, we're almost done. I know this is getting long. Being with my mom and sister has been a really good current favorite as well because you know I was living in Boston and Lucy was living in Ireland my mom was here. So it's been really good to just be with them and all be back together. And this I say relatively. I wrote down going to bed early, like relatively early. It's been hard with Brody because we have to make sure he's all settled and going to sleep before we can. So sometimes the nighttime routine is like a whole process and then he has to go out again and then it's like a whole thing. But relatively going to bed early, like before midnight is what that means to me. And I just feel so much better the next day if I get my butt to bed earlier than later. And last on my list, miscellaneous sunset this kind of reminds me of stargazing but just like I don't know everything about nature if you guys can tell I'm in a nature mood back here I just appreciate it so much more and I think not being in Boston anymore and being back in upstate New York I it's like the nature you can't really ignore it like it's right in front of your face and I'm like surrounded by trees all day and birds and like the sunsets and stargazing I don't know it just feels really good to like appreciate nature and be around it you know is anyone else appreciating nature more during quarantine like it's always there and a constant and yeah okay I'm getting deep and chatty this has gotten so long thank you guys so much for watching I love everything linked down below you probably already saw most of you probably didn't even make the make it to this point Woo! sorry for keeping you love you guys so much thank you for watching I hope this video is interesting for you or helpful in some way and I'll see you guys in the next video bye